Hey, Popeye, are the latest. Greetings, greetings, viewers and subscribers. So in today's journey, we are still heading towards Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. We are now in the parish of St. James. My viewers, my subscribers, do you know exactly where we are now? Well, if you do, drop a comment in the comment section. Continue to sit back, continue to relax, and continue to drive with me. Now, we have some stories for you today. A man was killed at White House in Westmoreland early this morning. You're going to want to stick around to the last story. We're going to be telling you exactly what led to this man being killed. Stand by for it. Now, we had promised that over the next few days, we would be giving you some information about different strokes. Do you remember that different strokes that was to be held in May 2020? It was cancelled. Yeah, man, it was cancelled due to the pandemic. We know that some persons had gone ahead and purchased tickets for that event. If you had purchased tickets, we have some good news for you. Those tickets, they are still valid for this event that will be held next week, Saturday, May 7th, 2022, on Mother's Day weekend. However, you must register those tickets by next week, Thursday, May 5th. All you have to do is take a picture of that ticket and send in that ticket with your name. I would suggest that you use the easiest method. Just send a message via WhatsApp to 876-366-9032. So, you're going to take a picture of the ticket, type in your name and send the ticket and your name to that WhatsApp number. 876-366-9032. You can also send it to different strokes social media pages all right now over the next few days more info will be forthcoming tickets are no one sale for the event and we'll be telling you where you can get those tickets to buy yeah man different strokes is on next week saturday so we are learning that there was a traffic accident along crane road in black river early this morning sunday april 24th 2022 sometime after one o'clock the information we are getting is still sketchy but that man on your screen he's popularly known as max now max he's a taxi driver we are told that he applied the route watch well to santa cruz in the parish of saint elizabeth like we said the details are sketchy but so far we are learning that max he was driving a white toyota voxy minibus when he got into an accident. It is said that Max, he was flung from the vehicle, which overturned on him. We are learning that Max, he was pinned under the Toyota Voxy for a long while. It is suspected that he died on the spot. We are doing some queries, and as soon as we get additional information, we will be updating this story. Sad indeed. Condolences to the family and friends of Max. Now, still in the parish of St. Elizabeth, we are learning that a man, his name is Jermaine Atkin. Jermaine Atkin, he's a prisoner at the Santa Cruz lockup in the parish of St. Elizabeth. He's in custody, awaiting trial for a case of wounding with intent. Now, sometime in March 2022, police officers were on the cell block. We are told that they were letting out prisoners to go and take their shower, when it is said that Jermaine, he got into an argument with one of the police officers. It is reported that Jermaine, he got a hold of one of the padlocks that are used to lock up the cells. He used this padlock to hit the police officer in his head, causing a serious wound. The police officer, he had to be rushed to the hospital where he was treated and released. Now, Jermaine Atkin, he was charged for the offense of unlawful wounding. He was taken before the court in St. Elizabeth, where he pleaded guilty. Early last week, Jeremy Atkin, he was taken back to the court for sentencing, where he was sentenced by the court to six months at hard labor. Jeremy, 
Remember, we told you that he was facing a charge of wounding with intent. That case is not yet tried. Jermaine, like we said, he was given a six months sentence. <laughs> ah boy. Now, in this next incident, it took place at Tap Road at Rosites in Montego Bay in the parish of St. James. It took place minutes after 2 p.m. yesterday, Saturday, April 23, 2022. Our information is that the police, they were on patrol when they saw a man who they claimed was acting suspiciously. The police, they accosted this man and searched him. A bag was taken from this man and searched by the police. In the bag, it is reported that the police, they found one Glock 26 9mm pistol with the serial number intact, affixed with a magazine. Well, it was affixed with an extended magazine containing 27 rounds of 9mm cartridges. This man, he was taken into custody by the police and we are told that the police, they are carrying out investigation to see if this man, he was involved in other crimes. As soon as he's charged, we will be updating this story. But congratulations to the St. James police for this recovery. Job well done. So let me ask you something. <laughs> let me ask you something. Have you hit on the like button as yet? You haven't yet? Alright. <laughs> if you have not yet done so, remember to hit on the like button. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, remember, hit on the subscribe button as also hit on the notification bell. Then click all so that whenever we upload a new video, you will be the first to be notified. Also, remember to check out our other channel, PNL Vlogs TV. In the final story for today, and this one, very interesting. It took place at White House in the parish of Westmoreland. It took place early this morning, Sunday, April 24th, 2022, minutes after 12 midnight. Our information is that that man that you are seeing on your screen, his name is Kevin Cheese. He was popularly known as Warfy R. Ranald. Now, Warfy, he was 27 years old and he was said to be a fisherman. He lived at Old Bay Fishing Village at White House in the parish of Westmoreland. Our information is that Warfy, he was at a party. Now, that party, it was being held along the White House main road. It is said that Warfy, he was walking past a man who was at the party. This man, our information is that he lived at Belmont, but he has some Montego Bay connection. So it is said that Warfy, he either stepped on this man's foot or he brushed on him. Whichever it was, an argument started with Warfy and this man. It is said that some pushing go on. We are told that one of that man's friend, not Warfy's friend, the man who Warfy allegedly stepped on or brushed on, we are told that one of his friends, he saw the altercation. So he ran up and kicked down Warfy. Both the man who kicked Warfy and Warfy, they fell to the ground. It is said that Warfy, he brandished a screwdriver. He used this screwdriver to stab the man who kicked him down to the ground. We are not sure where this man got stabbed, but it is said, yes, he was stabbed. Now, our information is that the man who was stabbed, his friends intervened. Warfy, he was stabbed and he was also shot. He collapsed and fell to the ground. The police who were nearby, they were called to the scene. And when they went to the scene, they saw Warfy. He was lying face down on the side of the main road. He still had the screwdriver in his hand. He had wounds to his chest, his face and his head. Warfy, he was taken to the Sabana Lamar Public Hospital where he was officially pronounced D-E-A-D. -E now, our information is that when this crime scene was processed, the police, they retrieved several items of evidential value to include 
five nine millimeter spend shells the mayhem continues blessed love everybody Criminals, they're my show.